Warning, these are difficult, confusing, and hurtful days in our nation and the world. Many are suffering. However, in these hard moments, we can declare with assurance, tis the season to celebrate the Lordship and majesty of Jesus Christ in our lives and in our culture. Welcome to the Renaissance Gathering, coming to you from Washington, D.C. I'm bringing to you today a pastoral warning and caution born out of love and concern. A religious spirit that has invaded a segment of the church and the false religions of this world have joined together in a combined assault to promote a strong delusion and establish the denial of Christ Jesus in the heart of our nation. They would silence the voices of pastors, politicians, and the people of this nation who with courage celebrate and declare a full disclosure of Jesus, the Son of God, and his gospel of salvation so that they might usher in the spirit of Antichrist. This is why it is so important that you do not attend or participate in a church that mocks God by denying the virgin birth, the deity of Christ, and the power of the Holy Spirit with eloquent, high-minded, reasoning. The Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians 2, my message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with a demonstration of the Spirit's power. Those who dare to mock the ministry of the Holy Spirit will find themselves in a dangerous place. The Holy Spirit always celebrates Jesus Christ. Habakkuk in his day, just as we do today, saw his nation in free fall as he walked through the streets of Jerusalem and cried out to God about the mockery of justice that he was forced to witness. How long, Lord, must I call for help, but you do not listen or cry out to you violence but you do not save why do you make me look at injustice why do you tolerate wrongdoing destruction and violence are before me there is strife and conflict abounds therefore the law is paralyzed and justice never prevails the wicked him in the righteous so that justice is perverted. Have you, out of frustration or fear, thought or said these same words to God? Today, the more the world mocks God's word and all we know to be true in our hearts, we must recognize that is still the season to celebrate the Lordship and majesty of Jesus Christ in our lives and in our culture. This simple act of worship and praise will bring health to our souls and hope to our nation in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.